Back here at the Astrodome where we have uh, a crowd of 31,428 the other night. We suspect it's the same this afternoon. And I might add that uh, there is a television blackout within 180 miles of Houston. There's been some criticism of the Astrodome, particularly with the seats that were placed on the uh, arena level itself or the AstroTurf level, if you will, uh, because uh, everybody is kind of getting elongated necks. And I suggested to a few of the UCLA fans present that they might uh, try, uh, you know, bringing binoculars and they said binoculars nothing what we need is a periscope so <laughs> there you have a spectators view we are at courtside as this game on four two well, all right clarence porter will square off with sydney wicks as we're ready to go here controlled by wicks to steve patterson of ucla just crushed briefly there by porter and now henry baby to set it up ucla in their blue in this one and Villanova in white they work into the left to sydney wicks in the left wing in the corner to patterson Oh, that's an attack zone if I ever saw one. Accommodation man and, and two, three. Really, but then they put a lot of pressure on the individual. Back out to Kenny Booker again. UCLA just stealing out the zone. They have Ford out at the point. Now, Wex speeds to Patterson. Patterson side off on back to Kenny Booker. They're active. Sydney from 20 feet. Shoots. It does not go. Rebound tipped on the outside. Grab by Simeon Husky. Villanova quickly, that's Ford, long pass, tipped away from Porter, who was in the left corner, saved by Bibby, in at bounds still, Inglesby takes a shot, it's over the top, out of bounds, it'll go, came off the iron and bounced over the top, out of bounds, Inglesby the sophomore, and this is a pretty well balanced scoring attack, uh, nobody with an average of less than 13 points a game, in the right corner, Bibby, not open, as Smith comes to cover it, works it back on the outside, once again, now, no scoring as yet, working to Kenny Booker, Booker, great. Pressured momentarily by Ford. Corner shot, Patterson. Up and in. Steve Patterson, left corner. Right, 2 nothing. The Bruins will put on full court pressure here. Here Ford to bring it out of back court now. Double team by Wicks and row. Out to mid court now. Smith, angles being up. 2-2 two two tie ball game. Bruins in the front court here now. Working it against the Villanova zone, but it is something of a combination. Oh, tipped away by Simonkowski. Taken intended for Wicks, breaking for the corner. Booker checks Ford as he comes in the front court around the key. Gives to Porter. Bank shot. 15-footer. It's no good. It was hurried because there was a hand up there in a hurry from Wicks. Maybe in the front court. Wicks in left corner. Booker, he can't get a shot, but Ford fouled him, I do believe. No. They called a traveling. Down to Inglesby. Bruins putting some backcourt pressure on here against Villanova. Bounce pass in the front court. Inglesby into the corner. Porter not open as they had him covered. Back out once again. Here's a cast off by Ford. It's a good shot from 25 feet. No good. Tipped out by Wicks to Bibby. Bibby brings it up court for UCLA. Two to two tie ball game. Right side. Wicks, he paddled with the ball. Yes, he did. He inbounded and the pressure comes in. Smith helped out. And gives it to Ford now. UCLA's had three turnovers thus far. Inglesby front court, right side now. Working it again to Clarence Smith. Time in the first three minutes of play here. Bibby coming into front court, working at the Booker off to the left. Patterson takes the high post here. Ford fouls in front of him. Booker wants to feed him, and he can't. Too many hands around. Now the bounce pass off. There's a foul on Ford. A little bit early for the replacement, but this is uh, to get the offense going a little bit better. The Bruins strategy to beat that zone. Now they put on pressure. Simonkowski helps out. Here comes Ford. He almost walked before getting a baseline. Left Porter likes to shoot from there. He hits. Eight to five. Villanova. All right, here is Schofield now doubling in the front court. Gets a screen from uh, Patterson. Now he wants to give it to Steve as he could not get the shot there. Steve takes a 20-footer and hits. Short press is on. They get it out intercepted by Patterson. Looks bounce past the road. Turn around in front. Lays it up. Misses. Tip up. Misses. Now let's see. As they go for it, Seaman Kasky, I think, is guilty of holding Steve Patterson. Seaman Kasky grins. Uh, he has a blue uh, wristband on his right wrist and white on the left. I guess that's his blue color. Blue and white. Those wristlets, the tennis players, uh, 10 to 9. Okay, to be inbounded against the full court press. Five second countdown. He did not get it in in time. Turnover. On the break. He'll have to throw it in. In the corner. It's stopped away. Taken by Patterson. Bank shot. Good. Oh. 13 to 10. The Bruins' quickness beginning to tell. The midcourt intercepted by Patterson on the full court press. Bibby. Short six footer. Good by Bibby. 15 to 10. Timeout wanted Villanova. Timeout. With the score here, UCLA 15, better know than 10, 14, 27 to go in the first half. Through as they have, uh, definitely uh, is a big factor, but the Bruins' quickness is beginning to tell, and their full court press is bothering uh, Villanova so far. They'll have to work to get around it. Now they inbound it, Ford to Inglesby. 
They get around to the midcourt now to Clarence Smith. Uh, he's touched by Wicks there. No harm, no foul. Well, left corner, Porter driving, short-range jumper. No good. Rebound taken by Porter going high in the air, back to the corner, feeding it out, and Ford gets it out here. 15 to 10. Oh. Little Noble will drop back quickly to set up their zone. Patterson tries to crowd uh, the point man there. To, gives it now back to Patterson from Schofield. Drives around to the left. Can't get a shot. Let's see what do they call here. Traveling again. And that was the tight guard Villanova was putting on. Defensively, four turnovers for UCLA. Okay, now it's Inglesby. Coming into front court, Bibby is on in here. And the Bruins switching man for man. Bills right now. Schofield picks him up. And uh, breaking in in front of the key porter. Wicks on him, can't get a shot, finally throws it up. They call a foul on Terry Schofield, who was helping out. 15 to 14, the Bruins lead by one. Now, Schofield, and again, they're up against a zone here. Gets a screen from Rowe at the high post here now. Vivian in the corner, feeds along to Patterson in the right corner. Way outside, Schofield opens, takes a 25-footer. It doesn't go off the iron. Patterson tips it, and it's tipped by Inglesby. What do they call? Give it to UCLA. So UCLA inbounds right side, front court. Lux feeds it back to Bibby. Open angle shot. 18 footer. Good by Henry Bibby. 17 14 it is. Now it's uh, looped out to midcourt to Smith very nicely. They catch up with him. Rowe does. Then back out toward the midcourt area. Simon Kersky. Now Ingles be the guard. Sophomore guard to handle it. He's 6 3. Bounce pass off to the right to Smith. Takes it back. Bibby stays right with him on the switch off. Bounce pass now to Smith. 17 16. And the Wildcats keep warm on those nets. Bibby in the front court. To Schofield. Schofield looks, gives it to Patterson at the high post. Turn around, 20 footer by Steve. Doesn't go. Grabbed by Porter. Good high rebound. Attempt by Howard Porter. In the front court. Back to Inglesby. Open 15 footer. And he hits him. Put it over on top again. 18 to 17. They led last at 10 to 9. The Patterson slipping away from Porter. Putting in two. And they got a good, well executed play there. 19-18, Bruins back on top. They work it against the press with Simon Kasky, the 6-7 man helping. Ford drives in, passes off at the last moment. Loose ball, Porter lost it. There's a whistle out of bounds at the end line. They say Porter stepped over, trying to get that loose ball. Barry Schofield now into front guard. Works at left wing to Sidney Wicks. Bounce pass into the corner to Patterson. Cross court pass with Simon Kasky driving all the way now, shoving it up, in and out, in. 21-20. He drove. He had no chance to pass off and just hang it in there. Bibby in the front court. Working to the left to Wicks, holding it overhead to Bibby. Open, 30-footer on the way. It doesn't go off the iron. Taken by Simon Kasky. Quick two-on-two fast break here. Outside cast. Ford. It's no good. Porter's tip in. Beautiful. Little over back on top. 22-21. Schofield in the front court here now. He looks for somebody to come up to the high post. Nobody does. Works with the Bibby off to the right. Into the corner, Patterson's open, shoots from the corner, it's good, Steve Patterson, deadly from the corners, 23-22. Here on the inbound pass, more of a man for man, in the full court pressure, bounce pass, left corner, Porter, wide open, it's short, off the iron, rebound, Smith, shows it up, no good, tipped outside, pass from Schofield. 25-22, going over back up court, and they're playing UCLA's tempo, Ford, working it to the left of the key. Driving the baseline, he's going to be picked up, passes off outside, cast Smith short off the iron, tipped up, grab, Debbie loses it to Ford. Bounce pass along the line, out of bounds. They'll give it to UCLA, another turnover. 25-22, UCLA with 10-15 to go in the first half. Here's Schofield, up court now. To Patterson at the high post here. To Schofield, outside cast by Terry, does not go underneath, nobody there on that side, Inglesby grabs it for Villanova. No Bruins there. 25-22, the margin is just three. Villanova shoots well, works it in well. Plays with determination. Driving to the left, Inglesby feeds now at low post. Porter, three second, no. Traveling called against Porter. He put the basket in, doesn't count. All right, in front court now, the Bruins have to take another bounce from side court. It'll be UCLA inbounding at the end line. Roll will inbound. Way out to Bibby it comes. Bibby drives clear one man. Left corner shot forward. That's it away, but I think committed a two-shot foul in the process. He did. 9.34 remaining in the first half. The score is UCLA 25. Villanova 22. He shoots and makes a single free throw, they say, is all he gets. K26-22. Thought that might have been fouled in the act of shooting there before, but okay. Now, long pass to midcourt to help out against the press to Smith. Drives up to the key, shoots. Banks it up and in. 26-24. Back to Schofield in the right corner. Bibby open, takes a shot over, and it's no good. Rebound battle for it, I think, Bibby. Bump Smith in the process. 
Ball come down to the other end. 9-10 to go in the first half. Henry Bibby now. Going past the timeline. Looks it over. Takes a screen from Patterson. Shoots and hits. 30-footer by Henry Bibby. 28-25. Now it's inbounded against the full court press. And they work it up the left side to Ford. Baseline left to Porter. Patterson covers him. He does not shoot. Patterson also covering the area against any drive in there until the rest of the defense got set. Ingles being in the right corner. Bounce pass along the line to Porter. Double teamed in here. And he works it way back out to Ford. To Simon Kowski. Outside cast. It's no good. Rebound. Mack way outside. Ford gets it. Can't shoot. Passes off. Smith does. 18-footer. It's no good. Rebound. Tipped up. No good. There's a whistle and a foul called again. Simeon Kowski has three. Ford and Inglesby to bring it up, and they'll have the press beat easily here now. Pass off to Smith, an outside cast. Simeon Kowski, it's no good rebound. The Wicks and Rowe were right in there, and Wicks got it. Up in the front court, Bibby quickly speeding. Oh, almost loses it on the dribble, almost stolen from him. The perimeter shooting has been remarkable. Take that back, it's only 25 feet there. Now we can see the outline of the court if we reach up and get a long neck ourselves. We're courtside with our chin practically on the court. Okay, 31-25 front court. Here's a drive to the left. The baseline left forward can't get in. They cover him outside to Simonkowski. And now outside to Inglesby to set up a play. Okay, now Schofield. High post, Patterson, turnaround shot. Patterson banked in from 22 feet. Let in now to Simon Kasky and Patterson with a big night here. 13 afternoon, we should say. Midcourt area, front court as Inglesby pressured. Feeds to Ford at the key. Work to the left, Simon Kasky. I think there's a whistle. Traveling called against Simon Kasky. 33-27, UCLA by 600. Billy tries to hear what the bench is trying to tell him here. With 6.52 to go in the first half. Working to the right wing to Schofield over there now. Dribbles over top of the key. Looks for Henry in the right corner. He's not there. Feeds Wicks. Wicks. Patterson got credit, but I think Bibby tipped it on the inside. But that's all right. Give it to Steve. Two for UCLA, 35-27. Here in front court, Inglesby. Pressured by Bibby. Baseline, left shoots and hits. Patterson left Porter in instant, and Ford set him up nicely. 35-29. He's a great baseline shooter, Porter. We're going to the left wing to Wicks. Underneath Patterson slips up and in. Misses. Followed by Rowe, but there's a whistle and a foul on Inglesby, fouling Curtis Rowe. Pair of free throws by Curtis Rowe makes it 37 to 29. Right, it'll be inbounded. Out toward midcourt. Smith helping out against the press. Two on one. Baseline left. Porter shoots and uh, it's no good. Rebound. Wicks gets it. Flashed in on two. As Inglesby made that one possible, setting it up for Smith. Now let's see. Rowe's going to come out and help screen out Ford so he can pass to Wicks. Left corner. Patterson open. Shot puts up there. No good. Out it comes. But an over starts a fast break. Ford then was checked by Schofield. Now works it up to the right. Simon Kasky. Here's Porter going to the baseline right. Back out to Ford at the key. Bounce pass underneath him. The hands of Schofield of UCLA. Out to midcourt come the Bruins. A team that hasn't been shooting well. They used two men out of bounds there, by the way, to help against the press. Whip of the one and then up court. All right. Baseline left. Here's Porter. He's followed by Sidney Wicks. As he made a move, so Sidney picked up his first. 5.06 to go in the first half. Score UCLA 39. Little Nova 31. 39, 32, seven points. Now, with five minutes to go and a half, let's see if the Bruins don't waste a lead as they did against Kansas the other night. They still led by seven. They work on the left side to Sidney Wicks. He beckons Terry back at the point now. And they'd like to draw Villanova out of a zone here. Where they use the two uh, bigger men, Smith, bigger and stronger man. Now, let's see. To Patterson, I post back out to Schofield again. They'd like to draw him out into a man for man. Work at the Wicks to Patterson, and now Wicks holding it left side. He gets a count down, feeds into the midcourt area to Schofield to Bibby. He could work at the row, but he doesn't. He holds it until somebody comes out. They're trying to draw Villanova out of the zone, and that's see whether the strategy works. Now he's getting a countdown. Henry will have to do something with it. Feed Steve Patterson, penetrating, and back to Bibby again. They won't bring those big men out, and it remains 39-32. Working to the left to Wicks. He's across the hash, whips it across court to Bibby. Kind of a high pass. Henry had a leap for it. And now to Patterson, penetrating once more. And now, Wicks may break on the inside. Let's see, Rowe, he almost did a moment ago, but nobody saw him. That's what they're going to go. Go for the layup. We have 356, the crowd booing, of course, penetrating to the right now to Curtis Rowe. And uh, Rowe holding it. They're called a jump ball. And he'll have to jump with Smith, who is 6'5". Page or not, in that situation, remains to be seen. Smith now jumping, Rowe tipping it to Schofield, and they continue to control. Schofield caught it. He'll have to get rid of it, gets rid of it to Patterson. He's uh, being held overhead. <laughs> he dribbles with it now, penetrating himself. 
Works it to Rowe toward the right corner, back to Wicks. Wicks tries to drive. They almost cut the ball away from him, but Sidney's quick hands got it back as three men sagged off on him. They're in the key. Midcourt area, Bibby Works now penetrating to the left to Wicks. Back to Bibby again. Now back to Schofield, right side to Rowe. Bibby cutting. And uh, whistle, what do they call here? Traveling on Henry, and that's a good call. Five turnovers by UCLA, and we'll see what it does to Villanova. Ford, front court now. Schofield all over and gives to Inglesby. UCLA's guards put a lot of pressure on those guards of Villanova. And I don't think they like it too well. Smith back to Simonkowski, top of the key against Schofield. Driving around to the left now, Ford picked up by Terry on a switch off. Wicks is on Inglesby at the moment. Back on the outside, Porter open, long cast, 25-footer. It's in and out, no good. Whistle underneath, they've called the whistle against Smith. Of Villanova pushing off. Team now against uh, Villanova. Not inbounded yet, still out of bounds, then to Ford. They work it from uh, behind the end line with two men out of bounds and then work one to the other. Schofield almost gets a steal. Ford has it deflected on the pass off as he got it back to Inglesby, but that pressure is there all the time. 40-32, baseline left, Inglesby, and they feed the low post man Smith. It's stolen as the Bruins get quick hands in there by Schofield. Quicks coming up court. One against three, passes to Patterson, open underneath, puts it in. And a foul on Simon... What do they call it on Steve? No, they call it on Simon Gowski. And he has picked up his third. And McDowell to the rescue. He is their sixth man. Yep. 17 points for Patterson. He makes it 18. 23-32. Patterson, uh, Schofield almost steals it and almost comes to us. Now baseline left. They get in the front court. Porter jump shot. Bite him. Good. And he breaks the ice. A long drop for Villanova. 43 to 34 with 219 to go in the first half. It's knocked in the backcourt, and Wicks can pick up the dribble again as Ford was hounding him. He dribbling around. Bounce passes off to Bibby. And he'll have to penetrate here. Henry has it hooked away. He can pick up the dribble once again if he wants to. Yeah, he dribbles back and forth. Works at the row. Right side underneath here. Schofield. Out of hands. Followed by Patterson. Misses. And then Villanova gets it. Schofield missed. And then Patterson missed the tip in. 43-34. 1-43. UCLA. Now, Fed from Wicks on the rebound to Bibby. The front court to Patterson. Short range. Bank dead against Ford. 45-34, 11 points again. Good. Working it to the left side to Wicks, looking for Patterson in the corner. Back out to Wicks at the point once more. He penetrates by passing to the right side to Curtis Rowe. Feeds to Patterson in the key. Back to Wicks, driving in short range. Bank by Sydney is no good. He took that with 31 seconds left. Wicks a little uh, hasty there, and now Villanova still gets a pop at it. Nine point lead. <laughs> Bibby almost pulling off balance in front court for Villanova as he swarms around Ford. Really pressuring him. I think Ford lost his shoe. He's tightening his shoe. They've only got 16 seconds. Right corner, double team, losing the ball is no foul called on Schofield. So Inglesby will get a chance to go to the line with 13 seconds. And makes it. And it's UCLA's ball with 13 seconds now. Just Bibby. Bibby to the left, takes a long pop, high arching shot, it's short, saved at the end line by Rowe, but he stepped on the end line with it with one second, I don't think they can do too much, it, it, the count starts on the clock, the minute it's touched inbounds, whipped out there, now you'll have to fire it quickly, loops it very high, off the backboard, now the gun, hey, that was the longest one second I've ever seen before that gun got fired, <laughs> Okay, halftime score is UCLA 45, Villanova 37. Well, back here at the Houston Astrodome, they by eight, and that's our story. Here we go, center jump, tip back, finally to Porter. After it was off somebody else's hand, that's legal. Villanova's Porter in front court, baseline jumper on the right, no good rebound underneath, taken by UCLA's Sidney Wicks. Gets it out, now to row. Ford still bothering him at back court, he dribbles with it himself. Now Curtis Rowe, the Bruins in there traveling blue. Schofield starting the second half with Bibby at guard. And now, again, Villanova is in the zone, and UCLA wants to draw him out. They work it right side to Curtis Rowe, and this is not a tactic that's going to win any popularity contests, but UCLA uh, wants them to come on out, out of that zone. And, uh, of course, they've now effectively against it into Patterson, back to Schofield, to Wicks, and they'll just go for the open pick. Let's see whether they'll go in a strict man for man or not. Bounce pass into the corner to Curtis Rowe. Double teamed in the corner. Works it out to Patterson. Back out to the midcourt area to Sidney Wicks. Bounce pass off to the right to Bibby. You know the crowd's really going to be on UCLA over this maneuver, and they were at the basic part of the second half. They work it around in the corner. Villanova still keeping its big man underneath the basket. Schofield gets it to Patterson. Works it back out to Rowe in the right corner now. 
Now Earth tipped away and Villanova gets it. Tipped away from Rowe on an attempted bounce pass to Patterson. Oh, Simonkowski almost travel with as he cradled him on a pass to the left side there. Now, Inglesby try to set up the play. Out at the point, Inglesby gets a pick out there, shoots from the outside, it's no good. Rebound, Wicks high in the air for it. They've used up a minute and a half. Villanova did get a pop of the bucket here, of course, midcourt area. Villanova still zoning, however. They will not play a man for man. Schofield holds it overhead. Somebody will have to come close to him. They give it a Wicks, swarming all over him now. It also caused some of those men to foul, of course. Bounce pass into the corner to Biddy, left corner now. And on him, five seconds is uh, the warning they give you there after they've once given you the warning to play ball, as long as you have somebody guarding the player with the ball within six feet. Booze all over the place. I, uh, very curious about this maneuver, but uh, nonetheless, it's there. Schofield feeds to Patterson at the high post, back to row in the corner, and we're down to 17-21. Back to Schofield again. Schofield, mid-court area to Bibby. Inglesby comes out with him. Wicks on the right side against Smith. Dribbles once with the ball. Now he'll have to pass to somebody. Bounce pass across court to Bibby. Bibby into the left corner to row to Patterson. Patterson underneath with Simonkowski. Puts it in. Who's going to go in? All right. It's 47-37 at 10-point margin with 16.50 to go. Pressure on Inglesby by Bibby all over the place. All right. Now double team. Then Inglesby open for the moment. Then covered again. Smith to the left of the key and a quick pass off. Corner shot. Simonkowski no good. Rebound. It's Row getting inside a quarter. And UCLA has the ball again. Well, three defensive blocks on the part of UCLA so far. And here's Rowe, right side front court. See if they double team him. They work it into the corner to Bibby from Patterson. Bruins pass the ball well in this uh, situation here. They're just going to go for the wide open layup, man. Apparently, with a 10 point lead on this, Villanova will go for a man for man and make an operate their offense. Back to Schofield again. Villanova in a Schofield works at a divvy in the midcourt area. Villanova still laying back in their zone. And they have had pretty good inside strength. Rowe now against Smith. 49-37. The Bruins have taken two attempts in this half and have hit two. And a timeout, an official time. There's something... Uh, this is Fred Hessler. We may resume. Front court is stolen by Schofield, but he may have committed a foul here on Ford. Row will inbound. There will be some. No, they're not going to put on full court pressure. Let's see what Sidney Wicks does it, controlling the ball down the right hand side. We'll tell you something about Sidney a little bit later on. About Coach Wood and to Bibby, mid court area. And now they're uh, putting on the pressure on him. Feeds underneath, deflected away from Schofield, cutting by Ford. It'll be UCLA's ball at the end line. Right official badge. <laughs> okay. You figure the guy's reasonably well known. Okay, Bibby. Working it out now on the left side to Wicks. Wicks beats Patterson at the high post. Simonkowski challenging him out there. Schofield, they're playing a man defense now. And uh, here's Rowe driving into the key. Takes a left-handed hook, and I think Smith, no foul. No foul. It is traveling against Curtis Rowe. Villanova working it to the right to Smith. Porter trying to cut underneath Patterson playing into the moment of the Bruins man. Simonkowski is the property of uh, Wicks in the other corner. He comes into the key and then Patterson picks him up. Baseline right, shoots over a guard and hits. Full court pressure by Villanova. Inbound, however, to Sidney Wicks. 49-40. And the big fella hit under a pretty good guard. Patterson switched off well and he just 6-7 against 6-9, but he's pretty big. Wicks. At short range here, still dribbling with the ball, using up a lot of time back to midcourt to Bibby now. Feeds into Schofield into the left corner to Rowe. Nine points the lead. Patterson will go to the line shooting two. 49-40. UCLA led 45-37 at the half. On Patterson makes the first move. Feeds Ford underneath. Simon Kowski cutting, rolls around. It's good. And a foul is called against Sidney Wicks. 50 to 42. That makes it in. Porter misses and Rowe gets the rebound. Tells Bibby to get up court, gives it to Schofield now. Runs with 13-16 with an eight-point lead. Now a little pressure on the Bruins, working around to the right, the row. Smith on him, feeds Patterson on the outside of the high post, feeds Wicks off his head momentarily, he gets it back. He's outside the, the lane, just to the left of it, in the low post area with Porter guarding him. Gives to Bibby, Bibby back out in the midcourt area. Wicks, the left wing, Bibby in the corner, Ford with him, four to six five, and Bibby bit six one. Now feed to Patterson at the high post, to Wicks off to the right of the key. Now Wicks takes it back out the midcourt area. They're only going to go for the good shots again, apparently, as Villanova is still playing a man defense, however, here. 
hasn't got a foul on him so far, but he apparently didn't want to commit one. 52-42. 12 28 to go. Bruins by 10. Fed the Ford. Goes in, throws one up. It's no good. Rebound. Patterson gets control and gets it. Steve Patterson gives off to Sidney Wicks now. Bruins controlling it and controlling the tempo as well because uh, they just don't want to know that he got a chance to get going or come back. And now Bibby in the midcourt area and see if he gets a warning here. He probably will. Now he'll have to pass off. Feeds Patterson penetrating up outside the high post area. Feeds Wicks now one and one against Porter. Drives in, takes a bank shot. It is no good off the iron. Rebounded, taken by Inglesby up court quickly now. Ford, bounce pass to Porter in the left corner. He's forced out by Bibby. Banks it up and in anyway. Ford Porter, that's a day eight again. 52 to 44 with 11.46 to go. Porter is 17. Patterson against Simonkowski. Oh, he drew by the bucket and put the two. In. Patterson with 24. His first two of this half. 25. He had a free throw in this half. Right. Inglesby in front court. 54 44. Again, the 10 point margin. Bounce pass right side to the right wing man Smith. Inglesby takes it back right at that spot. Now works at a four to the outside into the key. Can't get a shot open for one. Takes it. He's fouled from the side by Schofield who picked up number four. 54 45. The margin is nine. Wicks brings it up court. Porter on him now on a situation in the left corner gives back out to Bibby angles me on him but they still cover that underneath area pretty well Patterson at the high post Simonkowski out there with him he can shoot into the hands of Simonkowski fast break two on two it's going to be Simonkowski banks it in from the outside over Patterson 54 47 you know this little moment team is far from out of this ball game with 10 33 to go Simonkowski with 14 here's Rex Bibby in the midcourt area Seven points, and the crowd's going to be with Villanova all the way. Work at the left wing to Wicks. Now to Kenny Booker in the outside. Feeds at a side post row. Booker does not get the shot as Ford switches off with him over there. Fed back. The pass is lost, but Booker regains it. Whoa. Very dangerous in there. Kenny Booker. Bounce pass into the key now to Wicks at the high post. They collapse off on him, double teaming, and he passes off to Bibby. Takes it back in the outside. 9.59 to go. The margin is only seven. Patterson would like to get in under... Now, I believe Betchley's going to come into the ball game. Kenny Booker dribbling on the outside. He has a little more height, uh, perhaps, to help out. And double teaming Booker. Rowe helps out. They feed back to him again. Midcourt area. Rowe getting a countdown. Feeds Patterson. That penetrates the hash mark area. Midcourt area. Vivian Booker holding it. Right side to Curtis Rowe. Rowe holding it over there. Bounce passing now to Booker on the outside once more. He dribbles. Bounce pass into the corner. Bibby shoots from the corner. It's short off the iron, and Simon Kresge gets the rebound. Here comes Villanova with 9.22 to go. Villanova single speed. Working around to the midcourt area, Ford and Inglesby. They, of course, like to get it to Porter wherever possible, or the big guy driving or shooting the outside here. Simon Kasky against Curtis Rowe now. Can't shoot from there. Cutting in. Smith lays it up. Misses. Rebound battle, and they called one against Howard Porter of Villanova. Timeout called here at the Houston Astrodome with nine minutes and two seconds to go. UCLA 54, Villanova 47. Most interesting to see what the eventual uh, reaction will be to the strategy employed by UCLA in this ball game with a 55-47. All right, now Villanova in front court. Ford with the ball. Betchley is in now, and that's a matchup there. Smith, the high post, takes it back outside. Inglesby with Bibby all over him. Driving around to the right. They switch off nicely. Now, nah, shot from the outside. Inglesby is off the iron. No good. Bibby gets the rebound for UCLA. He looks to Tom Inglesby, who is 6'3", opposite him, and Betchley is his other guard now. It started Booker, now right side. Bro gets it away from Smith and made a swipe for the ball. Back to Bibby, midcourt area. Eight-point lead, 8.26 to go. Midcourt to Betchley now. Betchley holds it momentarily. He's against Ford, 6'5", also. Feeds to Wicks. Wicks at a high post here against Porter. Pivots around. Wheels toward the baseline. Porter jumps. <laughs> he doesn't shoot. Back out to Bibby again. So Sidney resisted temptation. Back on the left side to Sidney Wicks. Back outside to Betchley once more. Rick Betchley dribbling back and forth with it outside his men. Gives back to Bibby now in the midcourt area. UCLA continues to kill the clock. Getting a count down here. Penetrated a pass off to the right to row. Underneath Betchley slips up. Reverse layup with a big call. Traveling against Betchley. 
the pass in a little bit too deep, and uh, it's a good play, and Betts can break under there, but it causes a turnover, and Villanova now can chop away at the lead, 55-47 with 7.51. Now, they're going to set up their play. They have Sinitkowski at a high post. Baseline, Simon, oh, he just threw it up one hand and hit. And traffic, six points now, 55-49, 16 for Simeon Kowski. With 726, the whole thing could backfire, of course, against UCLA. That's a calculated risk. Right side to Curtis Rowe. In the right corner to Betchley. Seven minutes to go and only a six-point lead for UCLA. And outside cast, Porter partially deflected. No good, but Simonkowski misses the layup. Battle on the outside. Patterson gets it out to Betchley. Here's Wicks going down. Port loses the ball. Bibby picks it up and lays it in. Bibby trailing. Picked it up and laid it in. Big play. 57-49. Here comes Villanova. 6.45 to go. Eight-point lead. 11 for Bibby. Simonkowski shooting. Oh, he goes up in the air. Is there contact made? Patterson... Makes the second, 57-50, and they'll put some full-court pressure on. No, just Smith dropping down there. Sidney will go against Ford. He just points, and he's going to bring it up court himself. 6.33, but the margin is only seven. Here's Wicks now. Back to Bibby in the midcourt area, almost losing it, regaining it on the dribble. Inglesby got a hand in on it. Back to Betchley. Betchley covered by Ford. He dribbles to the right now, gets a screen. He'll have to penetrate, does, to Curtis Rowe. Rowe holding it against Smith. Double team gets it out to Wicks. Wicks to Betchley slipping it up. Oh, he's fouled. Two-shot foul. This is going to be on Ford. Here's two-shot foul. Betchley makes the first of two. Rick's pretty good free throw shooter. Betch misses the second. Battle of the rebound. Bennett comes off the hands of UCLA to Inglesby. Up court quickly. 58, 58 points the margin. Driving around to the right. Rowe picks him up at the baseline right. He throws it up anyway and in. Oh, under tight guard. 58, 52 at 553. And, uh... Five turnovers by the Bruins. Margin six. If they hit here, it's going to be a tough ball game. Inglesby feeds now to Porter. Loops on. Oh, a beautiful hook in traffic by Porter. They cut it to four now. Rowe, after the inbound pass, brings it up court. 19 for Porter. Timeout UCLA with 4.53 to go. The score, UCLA 58, Villanova 54. It's 7 of 14 for 50%. UCLA 5 of 11, 45%. UCLA with the ball. Betchley and Bibby, the guard still. Front line going it all the way. Villanova starting five. Going up, except briefly, McDowell had come in. Betchley right of the key. He uh, pivots around. And in traffic, they regain it. Patterson goes in. Oh, it's full pending on Porter. Knocking it away from overhead. Patterson went in. The crowd didn't like it, but it looked to us like it was over the rim as Porter batted it away. A side view would have maybe told you better, but nonetheless, it's a big two for you. CLA, 60 to 54. Front court, dead now to Simeon Tasky against Patterson on the outside. Feeds Smith going to the baseline, shooting. It's no good. Rebound over the top, and it'll be UCLA's ball. That's a tough break on Villanova's side. They're going to pressure UCLA, but it's into Sidney Wicks. Just Ford back there to see if he could sneak in and steal one if he could catch the Bruins off guard. 4.13 to go on a six-point lead. Wicks goes into the corner with Porter with him. Feeds back to Patterson. The delay pattern continues. Inglesby reaches in against Bibby. That's not the guy you want to foul, Inglesby, I'll tell you that. Patterson at the high post. Back to Betchley in the outside area. Gives to Rowe. Rowe with Smith. Rowe dribbles a bit with it now. Works it all along the side to Wicks. Wicks bounce once, then to Betchley on the outside. To Rowe at the left wing now. Smith with him. Back to Patterson at the high post looking for Wicks. He's against Porter, holds it, cutting underneath, and there's a foul called against Smith. He fouls Curtis Rowe. Three on Smith. Now, Villanova down by six. 3.31 to go. Bounce pass to Smith. Front court right side. Smith with Rowe with him. Feed the Porter. Shoot from long range. It's no good. Rebound. Rats. It's Curtis Rowe this time. Battling clear. Bounce pass out to Bibby. Check. Double team. Foul by Inglesby. Villanova bench didn't like it, but uh, they realized 61-54. Every free throw, you know, is going to be important late. Simeon Tasky working the left quarter, shoots quickly from the outside, fouled in the act of shooting by Betchley, shot in and out, no good, he'll shoot two. 61-56, five points the margin. Now Porter does challenge it, but Sidney dribbles past the timeline off to the left. 2.58, the clock is important, Porter feels it, touch last by Wicks, who turns it over. Villanova wants a timeout. Well, we've had a lot of things happen in this ballgame, and certainly uh, the 
type of thing that has gone on. The delay game in the second half, uh, some people will say it played entirely into the hands of Villanova. You never know. It's a hard thing to analyze, and it's a calculated risk. Now they have the ball, trailing by five to get it to Porter. He's against Rowe, baseline right, high arching shot, go to get that fadeaway. Fantastic. They've cut it to three. In the Wicks against Smith. 61-58, three points. And I think the injury to Wex may be another reason UCLA has stalled in this game. He'll have to feed it to Betchley. Now to Rowe on the right side, only three points the lead now. Fed back to Betchley, he wants to give it to Rowe. And it's 63-58. to Now in front court quickly, Porter leap, and then he gets the shot from the corner, hit again. 63-60, to Howard Porter inbounded to Henry Bibby. Bibby from back court with 148. At a UCLA three-point edge against Inglesby. They ought to be able to kill it here. Let's see what happens. 63-60. Betchley with it now. He needs some help. Rowe comes out to give it to him. Betchley has fallen down momentarily. I think he's all right. Rowe dribbling with it. Bounce pass to Patterson. Almost losing it there. Back to Rowe once again. Countdown. Rowe penetrates. Right side. Picked up quickly on the switch by Inglesby. Back to Patterson. 124. Three points. 63-60. Wick Wicks with the ball. Wicks on the outside, bounce pass to Bibby, Inglesby against him. He's going to be double teamed, four fouls Bibby. Now Henry, that is the fourth on four. Let's see, Henry goes to the line, six team. So they can only risk this one more time. Then it's a one and one. One for Henry Bibby, and Henry put in a key basket a moment ago, now can put in a key free throw with 113 remaining. And Villanova has just come right back up and hit. Here's Henry Bibby's free throw. It's good. 64-60. 1.13 to go. Bruins by four over Villanova. Now here's Ford, left side. They're going to set up a play here. 106 remaining. Ford against Betchley. Back out to Inglesby with Bibby. Goes around to the right. Back across court. Almost a loose ball, but Smith comes out to get it. Now gives the left side to Ford. The Porter tipped away, but he gets it anyway in the corner, but he couldn't get it underneath. Uses a between-the-legs dribble. Sets up Inglesby, top of the key. No good. Out to Porter. High in the air. No good. Wicks rebounds UCLA. Pivots clear. Out to midcourt to roll. 42 seconds. Patterson layup. Oh, Porter. Bullpens gets over the top. Two points. Patterson with another two. That's 66 to 60. 37 seconds. Smith outside cast. It is no good. Rebound taken by Ford underneath. He does not get it up. Knocks it out of bounds. It'll be given to Villanova. They'll get a play or two. 66-60, however, with 29 seconds. 66-62 with 26 seconds. They'll need help into Bibby. Inglesby backing away. Now to Wicks against Porter. Gets it in the front court to row. Rowe holds it, gives back to Wicks, 14 seconds, midcourt area, Bibby drives in between, dribbles back, gives to Wicks, 9 seconds, back to Henry Bibby, almost away on the right side, dribbles between two men, draws the foul, it's Smith who fouls him with 3 seconds, but it's all over, doesn't matter, Bibby makes the free throw, it's a 1-1 one and one now, and he'll get the second, 67-62, Tom Ingles beacons up. 67, Debbie pumps it in, 68, getting the bonus, three seconds, they may get one more shot, long cast by Ford, well short, taken by Wicks, it's all over. The final score is UCLA 68, Villanova 62. Jai, congratulations. A heck of a ball club great. Good luck, Jay. Congratulations. Well, you showed how much I Please. thought of you when I was working hard to get you out of the zone. You know what okay. it's Listen, no problem. I understand very good. Congratulations. I think we had great respect for Villanova's witness for the fact that we decided we should draw, uh, draw them out of the zone even before the first half ended. We were looking forward to the zone. We, we, uh, we knew that we had to be hitting our, our good perimeter shots, you know, in order, to, in order to beat them. I think it shows that we not only are a zone club, we can play man to man. They were looking to cut off Sidney Wicks and Curtis Rowe, and uh, it left me open for a lot of the easy ones. We have a fantastic team. You know, it's a team effort, and tonight just had to be the night that I had the good one.